Bro, you said, okay, so there was a lady missing at Walmart, you said? No, this young lady had got kidnapped at Walmart. Young lady bought, uh, then they found her somewhere Let out. Let me look it up. I think was it? Out in yeah, somewhere out in Nevada, Nevada you know. Was she dead? Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not to be funny, but. Sometimes people are found alive. Oh, uh, sis. I, I don't know about this. If they don't find your ass right within 48 hours, you might well cancel Christmas. I didn't even know about the story. I didn't know she was missing. I didn't know how. I mean, but I'm looking at the story right now. Um, it says yeah, Troy did. Driver charged with murder of a duck, abducted Nevada teen, Naomi Iron. I, mm -hmm. I just heard that thing. Iron. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. A man accused of kidnapping 18 year old Naomi uh, from Nevada Walmart was charged Friday with murder. Um, he was charged with open murder two days after her body was found in a makeshift grave in a remote area. Churchill County. Um, open murder includes first degree murder and all related offenses in the state, burglary and destruction of evidence. Mm -hmm. Wow, I didn't hear about this. Yeah, he did all that. And then, and then, and then, you know, it's, it's what's so crazy about all this garbage is that I, I know Sis was uh, Sis Low, she came on the other night, and I mean, I, I had missed it just that quick, but. She had sent me the leak of the YouTube of, the, of, the, of that clown up there that uh in Detroit where he he won't tell them about where you know, where his cousin oh, is. Oh yeah, he was just sentenced and he only got like twenty six months to four years. I was, I was livid, man. It's when I like said I, I had yeah. to cut that damn video off, like for real, I yeah. literally went got me a six. The whole video is like almost thirty minutes long, and his her mother. The oh my god, I was just crying. Yeah, that shit gut wrenching, man. Crying. Like, dude, I, I was really ready to shoot somebody. Goddamn me, like, like really, like pistol ready and every damn thing. Like, that's some bullshit. And like, he still won't say what happened. All he keeps saying is, and I y'all know who we talking about, right? That black, that black girl whose uh I boy cousin trip. had dumped her body. Well, he claims he dumped her in a uh dumpster. Yeah, um, they can't. Claims that they were smoking weed and then. She just out of the blue died, and so he nah. dumped her in a dumpster. Um, he killed that girl. He killed the judge. Him, yeah. But did you see what the judge was saying? The judge was like, because the dude kept saying, "I didn't know what to do. I was scared. I was scared." They like, "This is your favorite cousin. She got you saved in her phone as Favo because y'all favorite cousins, and you mm -hmm. just discard her body in a dumpster because you were scared because you didn't know." Like he's lying. he did something to that girl, and that's like how you dump your favorite cousin in a dumpster. Y'all smoking weed, and she just died. Why y'all smoking? He violated. Weed? He violated his own. I believe he did. I believe he because there was text messages. Remember they found text messages in her phone from him oh, that were kind of borderline. Like uh, that's your cousin. Who? What you? What you doing? Yeah, friend, it's bullshit. It's bullshit, and I feel so bad because mm -hmm. her mother, when she was giving her victim statement after the dude gave his victim statement, I mean, after he did, gave his last statement, she was just so torn. I was so like, man, it's it's the yeah, same she way. Got it, man. man, I'm telling you, some people are not that strong um, to be able to just let the law handle it. This is one of those situations where if somebody did something to that dude, it's like, I understand. Yeah, it ain't no uh, whether he in jail or not. Fuck that. I shit. I I'll go broke. He have a price on his head. Somebody will take that and they conversation be like, oh well, shit, I got life two life sentences anyway. Shit, I'm about to eat good the rest of my life. Yeah, I got him. Off with his head. Better because that's just the way it would be. There's no way in the world that dude that you can sit around. You can't nobody or no individual can convince me that that's just some normal activity wired up in the brain where like, what the fuck are you thinking to to want to literally harm or take the life of your own family? Like, I mean, especially, you know, the people, I mean, like, really? Like, you supposed to protect, especially the males of the of the, uh, of the, of the family. You supposed to take the, the females at all costs, no matter what. I mean, but you trying to take advantage, you know, come on, man, you sick. 
So you deserve to have your ass whooped, chopped up, all that shit. Then bring down here. We throw his ass. Gave her something, or he did something like physically to her. It's one like of like I said. Ones. Throw that, throw throw that nigga ass in the bayou. Yeah, but for those of y'all who don't know, what we talk about um, it's the lady, uh, young lady Zion Foster, um, seventeen years old. She uh, was dumped in the dumpster by her cousin Jalen Brazier. Um, they were kicking it one evening, and he said they were smoking weed. And he said that's the reason. That's the reason why he didn't call the police. He was like, "I'm smoking weed." And what could I explain? Like you smoking weed, you ain't smoking crack, you ain't smoking meth, you ain't smoking. I mean, wet. You ain't smoking all these other different. You were smoking weed, and you were scared to call the cops. I didn't see folks call the police because they didn't lost their weed. Talking about somebody and robbed them for their damn weed. It's <laughs> like he deserves everything coming for him. And when he do them little 24 months or three, 36 months, boy, may God have mercy on his life. Exactly. Now he got 20, he got like 23 months to four years. And the reason why was because there's nobody and there's no proof that he killed her. So what yeah. they convicted, what are they convicted? They convicted him up because he lied. Yeah. He discarded a body, you know what? What's that? What's that called when you obstruction of a dead corpse? Right, and also like hiding a body from the law. That other one. Yeah, I know. He lied to the cops. He lied to the cops when his um when her mother and everybody kept telling the cops that he was with her because she told her mother where she was going. I'm going over my cousin's house, and that is her favorite cousin. So her mom had no reason to say you can't go over there. You know, that was her so, cousin? Yeah, they yeah, cousins, yeah. But, but, but they cousins by marriage. Don't matter, it's still but your family. It don't matter, it don't don't matter, matter but, mind with me. But that's why we think that he might have assaulted her. Because you ain't really blood. But see, the thing is, he also lied to the cops because when he kept telling the cops, she didn't come over here, I ain't seen her in months, I don't know where she went that night, but it wasn't my house. But then the cops they call him on camera. They call him on camera disposing her purse. Ooh. And he was driving around his own job several times in the parking lot. And then when he stopped, finally, he disposed of her purse, which was in the back seat, which was in uh, his trunk. He took her purse out her trunk, out his trunk, and put it in a dumpster at his job. And then before they arrested him, his phone pinged. Far away, like in some some brush area, uh, outside of their like city or what, and then there happened to be a brush fire at the same time. His phone pinged in that area. Oh. So of course, a lot of people thinking he burned her, he set her on fire, he did something, but they just don't have no proof. They have well, if he burned her, they would have still had some of her remains. I mean, because you can with a brush fire. You cannot get rid of every single thing. Right. Right. But and then, and then the thing is, could have possibly not killed her in a brush fire. He, he could have burned some other right. evidence. Right, 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 right. And buried her somewhere else. But see, the thing is, the mother really believes him that he did dump the body in a dumpster. The thing is, though, they didn't find out till much later, and her body is somewhere like 75 feet deep. You know. 75 feet deep. Yeah, in the, you know, where they dump trash? Yeah, in the dumpster, yeah. Well, not in the dumpster, but you know where the they dump trash. In, the, in the trash fields. Yeah, the yeah. Field. yeah, yeah. Field. They said by now she's probably 75 feet deep. Yeah. yeah. So, Real minimum. She's methane. That's right, Juice. Minimum. She's methane. And all he got was 23 months to four years. Well, answer this for me. She was black. Yes, they both were. Mm -hmm. Well, that says it all. Mm -hmm. But see, here's the thing. When they find out what he did in there, is he going to make it out? That's what I don't know. Because did y'all hear about the story the other day? Some guy know. had uh, killed uh, like a three or four year old uh, baby boy. And like a whole bunch of inmates just attacked him and killed him. Like, Damn right. So they just, they let him have it. Damn right. So if sometimes if you don't get the punishment on the outside that people see you fit, right? If you kill a dog on three-year-old child for, will you say juice? 
I said, what? Well, I mean, this, for what's the what's the purpose of what? What is it that that's bad that you got that a three year old had to die just like the twelve year old up in New York earlier? You know, well, I said, like that fire. dude who just got arrested, he was molesting. Uh, well, more than that, he was assaulting this boy from the age of six till he was mm -hmm. like twelve or fourteen or something, mm -hmm. and he just he couldn't. You know, he had a. What do they call that when they, they groomed him? He was groomed. So he, of course, the boy only six, he really didn't know what was going on. He didn't know it was wrong. By the time he got old enough to realize this should be going on, he didn't even tell his mother. His mother just all of a sudden just started noticing things about him, like him always being quiet, being off to himself, depressed, things like that. And she just had a feeling that that guy had done something to him. It was like a family member or something like that. And so she asked him, she just straight up asked him, has that man done something to you? And that's when he just broke down and cried and told her everything since he was six years old. And so they put that monster in jail. He is locked up right now. And this just happened, like literally just happened. So like he might go up in there in that jail, they might tear him a whole new you, you know what. But, uh, well, that's just yeah. what happened to Gabriel Hernandez, remember? Yep. Little yep. Gabriel? Yep. And, and uh when that when that net after that Netflix documentary came out, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, that, that mama yeah. she suffered in prison. They was they were slicing her up with a with, uh, 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 tuna can, sardine cans. Yeah. Beating her behind down. When they found that out what happened on Netflix, because see they probably didn't know what happened. Right. They probably had an idea, but I think that, that that thing happened on headline news, so I don't know how people didn't know it. But once it hit Netflix and they had a documentary, they slightly sometimes, sometimes on the news they don't tell everything. They don't tell yeah. everything. So that could have been the case. And when them ladies was in jail and heard what all had happened to man, I can't imagine nobody thumping my child on the forehead. I was just one of those mamas who my kids was like, don't even tell mama. You she, can't even talk to my child. Like, my, my boys I'm going to need to nobody talking to him like that. What he did. Let, what he did for it be necessary for you to talk to my child like that. Because these days, you know, in the days we used to get beat at such and such house and then come back home and get beat again, it ain't like that yeah. again. It ain't like that no more. So ain't if somebody is beating or touching or looking at your child funny, you already formulating different ideas in your head. So listen. See, I was real protective of all night, like real protective. They can tell you I was real protective. And they know, like, they be like, uh, if somebody do something to them, they be like, okay, if it ain't real, real bad, I'm, I'm like they trying to protect somebody from me. Like I'll be like, y'all better tell me somebody messed with y'all because they know I'm coming and the whole family coming. The cousins, the uncle, we don't play. We don't play when it comes to kids in our family. So sometimes I'll nope. be like, mom, I didn't tell you because it wasn't no big of a deal. And I'm like, no, fuck that. What are you at? You know, let's go. But yeah. I don't play with mine. That's why I'm glad they grown because, boy, that. <laughs> I love kids. I love that experience of raising kids, but it can be very, very um like just just worrying about your kids and always like when they out of your sight, just worrying about if somebody's gonna touch them, if somebody's gonna harm them, is they gonna make it home safe, not just from just people and strangers, but from the police, from their own family members. Like people do some crazy sick shit to kids. So once they got older, I was like, oh, thank you, Lord. We made it through. <laughs> but oh. now, now I got a grandson and I'm going through it all over again. I be calling my son. Don't you let nothing happen to my son. My baby could be on the couch. I, yes, I call him my baby. My baby be on the couch and then he'd be sitting there by himself and my son could have me on camera. Why ain't nobody sitting next to him? Why me? He might fall off the couch. Don't let nothing happen to my baby because I will. You know what? He like, mom, I know. I know you will fuck me up. Mom, I already know. <laughs> Sure, I'm like real protective over mine. <laughs> sure, my oldest daughter is 24. That's still my baby. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. My youngest one just turned 21. Um, he's in the next room here, but uh he's the last one at home, still in college. I only got two, two boys. The other one he left like two years ago, moved out with his girlfriend. He's doing well, just had my first grandson, but 
Yeah, I've only had two boys. Two boys. But love them to death. But I was like, ooh, I was that crazy mama. Like, don't y'all mess with my kids. Shit. Mm -mm. And the way you just as crazy as a man. Mm-hmm. We got baby. Just as crazy as a man is. Yes, absolutely. Shoot. <laughs> You know but Fran said yeah. they could take cadaver dogs out there. Yeah, they could. I don't know. Oh, Fran was in Michigan. It's in Michigan. Matter of fact, I'm gonna drop the link for y'all because um, some people who don't don't know about the story, so I'm gonna drop the link in the chat to uh, the court. They, it was the trial date, the sentencing um, trial date, the other day. So during the trial date, I mean during that trial. You get to hear the judge, what he had to say. You get to hear what the, the cousin who killed, well, allegedly killed her. Um, and then the mother's victim statement. And I'm telling you, y'all better grab a whole box of Kleenex because that mother just told me down. I was watching that shit while I was trying to work. And I was like, oh, snot, tears. I was just so mad. Like, bro, like you said, you were so angry. Like, you just wanted to go and do something to that boy. He ain't got nothing to do with you. Or, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel like, oh, God, he needs to be punished way more than that. Extremely. And then he keeps talking about, I don't know why. I don't know why she was not breathing. So that's why they thought I was scared. They might think I did something. Mm, you did something. Let somebody pass out in front of me. I don't care what the hell we doing. I'm calling the cops. Shoot. Like, I, I don't know. I don't remember how to do CPR. 911. So it is what it is when they get there. It is what it is. Whatever we doing before we got there, it is what it is. Don't learn today. Mm -hmm. But yep, yep, yep. So I'm not. Yeah, it, 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 you know, it, it's, 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 it's a sad scenario. Shit, I, mm -hmm. I just had the uh, episode of the damn week down here. So. I don't know, y'all just be careful, you know, especially with y'all with these high tech iPhones and Samsungs and mm -hmm. ear pods and air pods and eyeball pods and all kind of pods going on. Be careful, because eyeball pods because folks out here geo tagging and locating. Because at well, I don't know where he at, but shit, he know what time it is. Because you talking about use. those Apple tags. Yeah, he tried to use a uh, he, he some some clown had texted my daughter earlier this week Ooh. about one something in the morning and what his dumb ass did where he fucked up as that you you know you you fucked up when you talking about you've been watching my child for months and then you mentioned my address in your joint, I know that, bro. Like, oh, yeah, you know bro. Like, no. that the other day. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I came on for. I'm not playing. Well, I, I, you know me. I know, I know me a little technology thing or two. I ain't gonna incriminate myself, but yeah, I returned and sent an anonymous message and and left a couple of voicemails on there. Don't play with me, and I, I, I don't deal with police, bro, because I know for one, you already close around. You're not no stranger around, so I'm about to find out who you is. I ain't heard shit else from him. Well, wait a minute. Look up Apple tags because what they do, all right, they originally made them so you can stick them on your devices. Like if you lose your phone or your keys or whatever, right. you stick that on your phone, your keys, that. your your whatever, and you can locate it. But people have been using those to track people. Yeah. I saw that. And I saw that for the first time probably a week and a half ago. And matter of fact, it was, I think it was a, a like a star, like a celebrity. I had seen that on there. Um, they had put something on there. I can't remember what they put it on, but they but understand it down here in Texas. We ain't, we yeah. ain't got no firearm register. We tell your ass that's something right. coming around here without because that's a threat. For one, you mentioned I don't. You're a stranger. You just blurt and you put in, and you text and then turn around and put my address up in there and then say you've been watching me for months. Yeah, I'm gonna drop your ass on site. Oh Lord. Mm. The minute I even see you anywhere near my front door, I'm gonna That's hit you crazy. up because you a threat. For one, That's just like that dad. Night. Remember the girl? Remember the um the uh Twitter? What is she a Twitter? Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, because she was a TikTok baby. girl. She was being stalked, and the dude showed up at her uh house, and her dad is an ex uh, ex police or something like that, and put a bullet through his ass and put him out for eternity. I'm like. Yeah. And then somebody else did this, and then she ended up getting threatened again. 
Yep, I saw that. Somebody is threatening her now, and now the police ain't even taking it seriously this time. But see, the first time when it happened, the dude showed up to her house, and her dad had to kill the man. So now they don't want to take him, take her seriously. Mm, okay, Instead, well. they're thinking, well, if you're having all these issues, maybe you shouldn't be online. No, that's just like like us YouTubers. If we, uh, how many of us YouTubers have been stopped? Like, not me, but a lot of YouTubers get stopped. That don't mean you should stop doing YouTube and stop making money and being creative and stuff like that. Just because somebody's out there crazy and lost their damn mind, like everybody no, crazy, it's not right. And France said, "Leave him stinking." Yep, leave him somewhere stinking. Oh yeah, no, he ain't now. I ain't gonna leave him nowhere stinking. I ain't gonna let you find him. Oh, okay. Shit, the hell with all that. Some some people don't need to be found. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, there, okay. there's certain things, yeah, there's just real talk. There's just some people don't need to be found. Take your time. Something yeah, right. to the pigs. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, so that's how that girl's mother feel right now, Zion. We got um, plenty of feral hogs down here in Texas. A whole swarm of mm -hmm. colonies of them, and they love nigga meat. Bruh, they <laughs> love all kind of meat. You get no kind of evidence from that. No Nothing. kind of evidence coming up out of Nothing. that. Feral hogs and they free. They let they, they, they yeah. You can get all you gotta do is just go where they hang out at. They wild, they wild roaming like warthog, like you know, like just yeah. any other little straight. Yeah. Y'all down know. there in the south and stuff. There's so many farms and areas yeah. down there that just don't learn today. Just you know, uh, mm. you got buy you. Like I said, you want to buy you, bro. <laughs> Shit, Houston got seven buy yous alone. Really. Yeah, that's what it called. Bayou. Yeah, every time I think of Bayou, I always think of like uh, the New Orleans or Florida. Or, I don't know. I, yeah, Bayou is the Gulf Coast. Bayou is in the A yeah, all Gulf over. Coast, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, New that's Louisiana. Dude, yeah, that's all. Yeah, Louisiana. You know, Southern remember, Mississippi. Yeah, Mississippi, know. right? Mississippi, but I never think Houston. I don't know why. I mean, not Houston, but Texas. Period. Yeah, it's the golf yeah, course. The yes. Hey, what's up, Mo? What's up, Maurice? He said, damn, I'm late. Hey, Tanya and Hoodies. What up? Yeah. Um, There's a whole lot of stuff going on, man. Hogs the Gators. Yes, Fran. Hogs yeah. the Gators. You right. Hogs the Gators. Dog on it. No evidence. See no. you later, alligator. <laughs> Not a now another. <laughs> Not a now another. Uh, I mean, a stitch, a stitch of stank or nothing. Uh-uh-uh. Yeah, them boar, boar pits are beautiful, ain't they? Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I said them boar pits are beautiful, ain't they? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -uh. 